And welcome back this morning on Today Food. We are making sweet and savory pies with New York Times bestselling author Allison Roman. Her third cookbook, congratulations, is out today. And you are getting back to your roots as a pastry chef. It's called Sweet Enough, and it's filled with simple recipes for, for everybody. And so, yeah, we were talking about how, for you, baking was like an entry point uh, into the culinary world. Yeah, it was sort of the job that they had available at the restaurant I wanted to work at. I had no training in either department, so it didn't really matter. I said, I'll do whatever. And then I was a pastry chef for six years. And as a person who's not that into desserts, I feel like that was an interesting choice, but I'm glad I made it. I'm glad you put some savory desserts in the in the cookbook, too. We're going to start with that. Yes. This is your mushroom pot pie, which you say is better than a chicken pot pie. Yeah, I do okay. say that. And I, it's not even if you're a vegetarian. I just think that that's, like, the case. But I'm glad we're doing a savory pie, too, because if you're doing a pie, sweet or savory pie crust is the most important part. Mm -hmm. And I believe firmly in doing your butter by hand. But that's also the beauty of this book is that most things are sort of done by hand or without equipment. Right. Um, so are you Like the old school baking one. Yeah, yeah I get that. we're doing old school. Am yeah. I familiar with what? With pie quiz dough. Me. With pie dough. Yeah, like the making uh, Pillsbury pie dough, I am a little okay. bit, but Wrong this answer. is the real, this <laughs> but, is the real okay. deal. Okay, well now that I've made so it. What was the what was the with that butter that w you had it cubed? Just, was that to help break yeah. it down? So it's cold butter and unsalted. And basically, you kind of just want to smash it in. And I think that this is also like is a good flour? reminder. Yeah, flour, sugar, salt, Got a little it. bit of sugar. Okay. Because it's for sweet and savory. Um, but just like have a good time, like play with it. It should feel like you're playing in the bowl of flour. So don't get too precious with it. You can add your vinegar, your ice cold water. The vinegar is in there because it adds a little bit of tenderness. The acidity, mm -hmm. boring, 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 helps prevent like <laughs> gluten formation, which is Got like, it. you know, if boring, you must boring. know. Um, Al, do you make your own pie crust? You strike me as the gentleman that might mm. do that. I've tried. Excellent. I'm not that good at it. Okay. I think you should get over here and try this. Right. I think you would mm -hmm. trust yourself to have a much better. So you make this time. dough. Obviously, it works for sweet or savory. This, yes. this pie so dough. It's like a great all-purpose pie crust. It works for galettes. It works. And can for you just crust freeze it and hold on to it? Can there always be a roll of dough in your freezer? And sort you know, of thing, or no? in my house there is. Okay. There is always a roll. Um, but yes. Yeah, so this one is mushroom, and the reason I included savory recipes is because I sort of figure. If you can make a sweet pie, you can also make a savory pie. Mm -hmm. And pot pies, obviously very popular. They don't have to be always meat-based. Mm -hmm. And I feel like mushrooms are a really great way to sort of showcase like flaky pie crust, creamy filling, all that what stuff. What kind of shrooms are you working with today, Alex? We are yeah. working with a multitude of shrooms, Carson. Um, these are my taki mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and regular button mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but, but for like, people at home, they want to make this tonight. Like, literally, can they just grab any mushroom in the market? You can grab any mushroom in the market. Okay, and I think, like, the nice thing about just cooking with regular sort of button is that they are, they're more affordable, they're accessible, but shocked at the variety of mushrooms available these days. They really come a long way. Okay. Um, okay, so we are going to sort of cook half the mushrooms down. Are you guys eating this over there? How are you enjoying this? They're, 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 they're going great. for it. They do not is wait for us. Is, is there cheese in this? No, a little bit of cream. Okay. It's really I know we good. don't do a ton of dairy. So but good. All right, so you just cook all these mushrooms down. Yeah, we and start by cooking half. I'm gonna start eating. You cook. Yeah, and then <laughs> they're like, "You have run out of time, you know what ma'am." To do. <laughs> um, there is mushrooms, onions, garlic, mm -hmm. and you sort of like cook it it's down, delicious. do the whole thing, salt and pepper, season as you go, and then you end up with these gorgeous little mushrooms. This is here. great. This is a little cold. Really I don't know good. if it's supposed oh, to be, really but it's yeah. delicious, even chilly. You know like the it's next day. Magic. Um, mm -hmm. We add more butter, we add herbs, we add flour, and oh that's gosh. basically the thing that thickens the pot pie filling. Uh -huh. The butter. Um, so good. There's a cream. Um, I like to make the roux sort of in the pot rather than like using the 28 yeah. pots and pans for any pot pie. Um, it makes things a lot easier. And what is this oh. liquid right here, this brothy thing? It's broth and cream. <laughs> it's broth and cream, which yeah. is, this is not cheese, is. but not not cheese, you know? No. <laughs> but it's good. Um, <laughs> add that, add that, and it basically cooks down into wow. something really beautiful that looks mm. like this. Yeah. So if you want to add that to here, Creamy this is a double crust pie. And the reason I like to use a glass bottom pie plate, whether it's a savory pie or a sweet pie, because you can see the bottom bake as it goes, right? Ah. So if you're like, how is it done? How do I know? Mm -hmm. With a glass bottom pie know. plate, so smart. Uh, you can see the bottom. Right. Mm. Okay. And you got a crust on top. all around, yeah. <laughs> And you then, do a little crimping around the edges know, there. We got about a minute. Crimp however you want. Great. Yep. One minute. Sixty seconds is more than I thought we had. So okay, we're good. doing great. Um, what's, the, what's the crumbly thing? Let's try the. Oh. It, it's just the flaky pie crust. That's wow. just how flaky it is. Mm. How about oh, the lemon pie, pie guys? Yeah. Yeah. Do you use a whole lemon in this lemon pie some recipe? Cream on that. The whole lemon is in there, so it's <laughs> like, it looks like there's part of the. It is. It's a shaker pie, so it's like a classic sort of thing where they use the whole lemon and everything, which I'm a huge fan of. But like same pie crust and. 
One is sweet, one is savory, one is salt and pepper, one has sugar. It's super versatile. Is your cookbook 50-50 savory and sweet? or is No, it... it's like 95 sweet, 5 savory. Okay. I sort of said the savory because I'm like, it's for me. Too, yeah. You know? If I'm you like, were going to yeah. bake one thing out of your own cookbook, what would you bake? Wow. God, tonight? tonight? Uh -huh. Yeah, like tonight, what would you make? Maybe this lemon shaker pie. Love it. Yeah. I, lo it's really I love good. the whole lemon. It's wow. bitter. It's sweet. It's not too sweet. It's sweet enough, as it were. It's so good, Allison. Mm. Well, Come get on. the cookbook, everybody. Mm -hmm. It is sweet enough, and you can get these recipes mm. also at our website, today.com slash food.